Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to discuss what program to display Pascal triangles. Suppose if I enter frame, then output should be like this. Next, I'm going to discuss about the drawing method of this program. So, if you debug code, then control comes to main function. Here, after that, go inside. And here, I have taken a uh, integer time variable int n k and sp. So I do print of enter the number. So what do I'm going to enter? So that go to n. Suppose if I enter 4, so that go to n. And here for loop control comes to next for loop. And here i value start from 0. And on next check the condition 0 less than 4. That's true. Here after that go inside. At your SP, I start from 1 and at here check the condition SP less than equal to n minus i. n value is now 4, i value 0, 4 minus 0, 4. So at here 1 less than equal to 4, that's true. That uh, go inside and at here. Or uh, print blank space. So I think uh, it's a uh, print blank space. Now this loop continue on. SP increase by one. SP become two. And uh, check the condition two less than four. 
again that print blank space increase the value of sp sp become 3 check the condition 3 less than or 4 print blank space again sp gonna increase by 1 so sp become 4 or uh, check the condition 4 less than equal to 4 that's true print blank space now sp become 4 to 5 check the condition 5 less than equal to 4 that's not true so that out from for loop now control comes to this point so right here for j value start from 0 and uh, check the condition j less than equal to i so uh, j value is 0 i value also 0 so the condition true then come to this point at here j value equal to 0 so j value is 0 now i value is 0 so at here that go to a part at here or uh, that print 1 and from here that uh, go to up and increase the value of j so j become 1 now check the condition 1 less than equal to 0 that condition not true so that out from this uh, for loop and at here control comes to this point print up so Cursor blink at new line. Now, hereafter, control comes to this point. Add here that increase the value of i. So i become 0 to 1. Check the condition 1 less than n. n value for 1 less than 4. Condition 2 for sp start from 1 again. And uh, check the condition 1, n value is now uh, for i value 1. So 4 minus 1, 3. So 1 less than 3, that condition true. Again, that print blank space. Here, sp increase by 1, sp become 2. Check the condition 2 less than 3, less than equal to 3. True, print blank space. Again, increase the value of sp, sp become 3. Check the condition 3 less than equal to 3. That's true. Again, that print blank space. Now, this time SP become 4. Check the condition 4 less than equal to 3. That's not true. So, control comes out of this part. Here, J start from 0 again. And uh, check the condition 0 less than I value is now 1. So, 0 less than uh, 1 that's so uh, true so right here uh, j value equal to uh, this term 0 and i value 1 so right here if any condition true if uh, right here uh, j value is now uh, 0 so this condition is true so that will go inside and print the value of k. So that print k. Now next, that increase the value of j. So j become 0 to 1. And uh, check the condition. 1 less than equal to 1. That's true. So add here. j value is now 1. And i value 1. So this condition is not match. So control comes to else part. Add here. k k equal to k into so k value is now initialized with 1 at here into i minus 1 i value is 1 j value also 1 1 minus 1 0 plus 1 so this value become 1 and by i value 1 so 1 by 1 k value or uh, Uh, that print uh, k value become 1 so right here that print the value of k 
and here after that go up and increase the value of j so j become 1 to 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to i value is now 1 condition false so right here control come to this point cursor bring to new line check the condition 2 less than n value 4 now that go inside sp start from 1 check the condition sp less than n minus i so n value 4 i value 2 4 minus 2 2 so add here sp value is 1 now 1 less than equal to true condition true so add here that did blank now again increase the value of sp sp become 2 check the condition 2 less than equal to 2 condition 2 print blank now sp become 3 check the condition 3 less than equal to 2 that's uh, not true so control comes to this point add here hold j start from 0 again check the condition 0 less than equal to i so 0 i value is now this term 2 0 less than equal to 2 so condition is true now add here or if j double equal to 0 so j value is now 0 so this condition is true so that print the value so this condition is true so that print the value of k so k value is now 1 now next after operating this value uh, control comes to this point and increase the value of j so j become 0 to 1 check the condition 1 less than equal to i i value is now 2 1 less than equal to 2 condition true so add here j value is now 1 this time i value 2 so this condition is not true comes to else part so add here k value is now 1 i value 2 j value is now 1 so add here 2 minus 1 1 plus 1 1 plus 1 or 2 2 by 1 so add here this will give 2 so add here that print k value 2 so here after that increase the value of 3 so j become 1 to 2 now check the condition 2 less than equal to 2 less than equal to 2 that's true so j value and i value both are 2 so this condition not match at here come to this point at here k value is now at here 2 into 2 minus 2 so that become a 0 into 1 uh, 0 plus 1 so that become 1 so at here overall this value 2 into 1 2 and j value is also 2 so 2 by 2 that become 1 so k become 1 again and hereafter that print the value of k so k is now 1 from here that increase the value of j so j become 3 uh, check the condition 3 less than equal to i value is not 2 so condition not match so control comes to this point and cursor bring to new line or uh, next to uh, that increase the value of i so i become 2 to 3 or uh, check the condition 3 less than or uh, 4 so add your condition true now control comes to inside for sp start from 1 again check the condition 1 less than n value is now 4 i value 3 4 minus 1 oh sorry 4 minus 3 1 so add here 1 less than equal to 1 condition true so add here print the blank now sp become 2 so add here check the condition 2 less than equal to 1 so condition false so control all from here now j start from 0 again check the condition oh, 0 less than equal to i value 3 
0 less than equal to 3, condition is true, so I have j value equal to 0. So this condition is true, now that uh, k equal to 1 and that print the value of k. So that print 1 again and now from here that increase the value of j. So j become 1. Check the condition 1 less than equal to 3, condition true. So I tell this condition is not true, j value is now 1, i value 3. So that go to else part. So I tell k value into k is now 1, 1 minus j. So I tell j value is now 1 and i value is 3, 3 minus 1, 2, 2 plus 1, 3, 3 by uh, j value 1. So 3 by uh, j, 3 by 1. So this value is now 3. So I tell k this time 3. And now that print the value of k. So this will print 3. Now hereafter again the increase the value of j. So j become uh, 1 to 2. Now check the condition um, j less than equal to i. So j value is now uh, 2. 2 less than equal to i value or 3 2 less than equal to 3 condition true so this condition is not match j value is 2 i value 3 else what add your k so k value is now 3 into i value is now or 3 j value is 2 3 minus 2 or 3 minus 2 1 1 plus 1 2 and uh, 1 plus 1 or uh, 2. So I tell this value is now 3 into 2 6. 6 by or uh, j value is 2. 6 by 2 3. So again the value of k equal to 3. So that print the value of k. So k is now 3. Next again that increase the value of j. So j become 3 now. Check the condition. j is 3, i 3, 3. So this condition is not true. Else what? k, k value is now 3. Into 3 minus or 3, i value, j value, both are 3. 3 minus 3, that become 0. 0 plus 1, 1. So add here, or 3 into 1, 3, 3 and uh, j value also 3 so add here 3 divided by 3 so k become 1 now that print the value of k so add here 133 3, and next 1 now increase the value of j again so j become 4 check the condition 4 less than equal to over 3 that's not true so control comes to this point cursor will blink at the new line. Hereafter that control comes to this point, upper for loop, i gonna increase by 1, so i become 4. Check the condition, 4 less than n, n value is now 4, 4 less than 4, so that condition is not true, so that out from upper for loop, next that out from main function. And final output we have 1, 1, 1, 1 to 1, 1, 3, 3, 1. So this is the way of execution of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.